Hello and welcome back to Dentures vs. Food. Today we're going to be doing a breakfast sausage burrito from Holiday. Now I'm sitting in a parking lot at a convenience store and people are walking back and forth in front of me. There's a gentleman right over here sitting in his car eating something. And so this is uh, another way of getting out in public and you know, I've, I've done some uh, videos of eating in parking lots, but never sitting right in front of a, the door of a convenience store with it really busy. So I've never tried one of these. This seems to be a pretty, pretty dense. I don't know if you can hear that. That's uh, Pretty dry, I guess. Sausage burrito from Holiday. Nothing in the bottom denture. Only denture fit in the top denture. So let's give this a shot and see what happens. I don't have any napkins. Oh yes, I do. I have napkins left over from my last video. First bite was, was nothing but burrito shell. Looks like it's wrapped up several times. Want to get this paper down here. Still mostly burrito shell. And it's a little bit dry. There I got some potato. I do have a drink today because I had a feeling this was going to be somewhat dry. And I was right. No salt, no pepper, no sauces, no anything to go with it. But that's okay. So as you'll see, I'm using my bottom lip to press against the denture and my top lip because this is really dense. It's hard to bite through. And without using my hands to push against the food, you have to use your lips. That's a technique that I've taught you already. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't gone back to the beginning of my videos, at the end of this video, there will be a playlist pop up on the screen. All you have to do is touch it if you're on your phone Click on it if you're on your computer or go up to it with your remote if you're using a TV. That will get you through the, to the videos of the very first lessons that I've put on this channel. This tortilla is extremely dry, almost like they almost like they tried to bake it and didn't do a very good job of it.
which makes it really dense and hard to bite through. Much harder to bite through than it would be if they would have just wrapped it up and left it alone. I'm trying not to make a mess in my wife's car. I bought this car for my wife. And I'm hoping that this video doesn't come out washed out because I forgot to set the ISO on my cameras. The last time I did a video, it was extremely cloudy. And I had to turn up the ISO so it would look like daylight. And now I forgot to turn it back down. So hopefully this video isn't washed out. When you're eating in your car, building your confidence for eating in public You don't have to sit right in front of a store where everybody can see you. You can get your food and go park in a park or something. Somewhere where you're by yourself. Or go park in, like we did in the last video, Walmart parking lot something of that nature. But as you're seeing people walking by and realizing that they're not paying attention to you at all, they don't care. They don't care if you're eating, they don't care if you're smoking, they don't care if you're drinking, they don't care what you're doing. They're not paying attention to you, they got other things on their mind. They really don't care if you have dentures. As you build that confidence, then you can start parking in fast food parking lots where there's multiple people walking around, lots of people. And you will build your confidence enough that, say, on a lunch break or something, you decide to run up here and get, you know, run to one of the convenience stores and grab a breakfast burrito or something because it's fast and convenient. Obviously, that's why they call them convenience stores. then as you build your confidence, you won't be afraid to sit right in front. Excuse me, soda pop always does that to me. You won't be afraid to sit right in public view where people are walking back and forth in front of the store and stuff and you'll realize they're not staring at you. Now, people do look at me when I'm doing this kind of stuff because I'm making a video and I'm talking to myself in my car. So obviously people wanna know what's up. If I was just sitting here eating, nobody would pay attention to me. But once they see the cameras, they realize, oh, this guy's making a video. And they just walk on by. They still don't know I have dentures. nor do they care.
I'm a people watcher anyway. I like watching people. I like seeing how they get in and out of their cars. I like to watch how people walk, the differences in the ways people people walk and stuff like that. It's interesting to me to see the differences in people. And you can kind of take that as an example of what you can be doing while you're eating in your vehicle. Kind of watch people and just notice that they're not looking at you. They don't know you have dentures. They don't care if you have dentures. They might glance at you and see that you're eating something and they'll be like, oh, I wonder what they're eating. But they're not going to come and ask. The potatoes are really sticky. If you swish with a soda pop, whatever you call it in your area, a carbonated beverage of any sort, Make sure you take a tiny little sip because if you take a big sip, it's going to fill your mouth with foam and you could choke. So be careful with that. But yeah, if you become a people watcher, just like this gentleman right here coming up, coming up next in front of me, he glanced at me one time, he saw the cameras, he realized I'm making a video, and he immediately turned away. Almost like they're shy. And I don't know if you can see him in the car over there with this camera, but you'll see him backing out here in a minute. I guess I got to use the napkin on the bottom of this burrito because it's about ready to explode out the bottom. And I don't want crap all over my wife's car. I bought this car for my wife. And I've got to take it to Colorado next week. And... I'll be bringing back the old van that I bought her four years ago. So right now she's driving a, a 94 Chevy Astro and I'll be taking her this 2009 Kia Optima. And I will be bringing back I will be bringing back the 94 Chevy Astro. But that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about eating and e eating and teaching you how to eat with your dentures. I gotta clean the car again. So, I just wanted to clarify that so that when you see the next video and you see me in a van instead of this car, you don't think I'm rich and that I have multiple vehicles, because I don't. I don't have multiple vehicles. I have, I will have the one vehicle and the bike, and that's it.
That's all I will have. So you'll notice I wrapped up the bottom of this with a napkin because as you're biting through, every time you bite it pushes the food a little further down, the pressure pushes the food a little further down towards the end and eventually the bottom of the burrito will blow out. Now I have a car that just pulled up right beside me. And of course, being a people watcher, I wanted to see if he was looking at me. So, glance over there, turn back. He's not. This thing is really dried up down at the butt. Last bite. Yep. I got flaky tortilla shell all over my wife's car. I got to do a thorough cleaning on this car before I take it to her though. So, next week's video I will be in the van. And we'll see where we go from there. In the meantime, that's it for today's video. I hope you got something out of it. Remember that when the little squares pop up at the end of this video, one of them is just a video that YouTube recommends you watch, and the other one is a playlist of the first things you need to know when learning how to control your dentures. I hope these videos are helping you learn how to retain your adhesive longer. Excuse me, again, soda pop just really hits me. I hope these videos are helping you learn how to retain your adhesive longer or helping you learn how to go adhesive free. If they are, please give me a huge thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And click the subscribe button. It's completely free, it doesn't cost you anything. But what it does do is it may get YouTube to promote the channel to that one more person that seriously needs help. So let's do that. I hope everybody has an amazing day. I will see you in my next video.